What's good, everybody? Welcome back to L Does Boxing. Yo, in this video, I'm gonna do a little tutorial on how I uh, research these fighters, man. I know, like, when you uh, when you see a new fighter or you see somebody about to um, pop up, you see somebody pop up on the fight schedule, and I know most guys are like, who who is this guy? So I'm just gonna go through a little tutorial how I do it. You know, what I'm saying how I go research the guy. So this is a good example right here. Uh, Phyllis uh, Caballo, um, he's about to fight Shakur Stevenson June the 9th in Vegas, you know what I'm saying? The first top ranked card since the uh, COVID-19 uh, got popped off. So when I seen the guy, I was like, okay, let me do my research. So I'm gonna go step by step how I do it. So at first, you know, of course, whatever boxing news source you get it from, whether it's boxing scene, boxing Twitter, uh, fight news, Three Kings, Boxing, whoever you rock with, that you get your uh, your news, then that's what you need first and foremost. So you know what I'm saying? So you identify who you who the fighters are. We already know Shakur, so we're not gonna get into that. So next thing you do, you gonna hop on BoxRec, man. BoxRec is a wonderful tool, man, for everybody. All, all types of boxing fans, casuals, hardcores, in-betweeners, anybody that rock with the sport of boxing, it's a great tool. You know what I'm saying? I just have a disclaimer. Box red don't determine if a fighter a bomb or not. You have to watch the fights to determine that. That's just a disclaimer for the, for the ones out there. You know what I'm saying? I just want to throw that out there for free. But you know, when I'm on box red, what I look for, of course, the record. You know what I'm saying? Um, this guy is 13 and one, two draws. You know what I'm saying? He got nine KOs. So you know, that kind of, that's kind of a sight a lot of boxer fans. Like, okay, maybe he can punch a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm on box break, I look for that stuff. I look for um, where he fought it. Like if he fought outside of a country, it's like he from Puerto Rico. So he, all his fights was in Puerto Rico. This is his first fight in the United States. Um, I look for who he fought. You know what I'm saying? If I recognize a name on his resume, what I do, I go check out their resume. And then um, I say that for later for my next step or whatever, when I go watch the fights. So, um, you know what I'm saying? I think that's a good key. You want to look at everything. That way, I have a um, a proper breakdown when I get when I get all my information, uh, watching the fights, boss rec, everything. I have a, a good breakdown in my head so I can break down these fights properly. You know what I'm saying? To look out for my subscribers. You know what I'm saying? So another thing I do, I go to the, I hit the events tab on his uh on his box rec, and what I do is. I go look for his promoter. So I don't know if you guys can see this. If you hit the events tab on the on the guy's resume, um, you'll see his promoter. So that's important to me because I like to know if it's a local promoter, if it's a co-promoter, is he uh, is a small promotion company working with a big promotion company? You know, sometimes uh, top rank uh, can have guys that's from Mexico. They can be on another promotion uh, network or whatnot. And uh, I just want to see, you know what I'm saying, what's going on with it. Um, so after this, once I figure out who the promoter is, I, most promoters have a Facebook page, some type of social media, whether it's Facebook, um, you know what I'm saying, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, whatever they got, you know what I'm saying. So I go to the Facebook page and I just check it out, man. I'm looking for the fighter. I'm looking for anything on the fighter, pictures, uh, weigh-ins. Uh, a live fight, interviews, you know what I'm saying? Um, sometimes it might be in a different language, but you know what I'm saying, you can chop and screw it up. Sometimes you can uh, use your Google Translate and get little bits and pieces of what he's talking about, whatnot, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I do here. I go to Facebook, um, I check out some, some action pictures, or action shots they might have from his recent fights. Um, hopefully they have a live fight on there and I definitely watch the way in just to see how he look. And uh, you know what I'm saying, get a feel for, you know what I'm saying, what's going on uh, with this fighter. Then, this is the meat and potatoes right here. The most important part when you research a fighter, you gotta go watch his fights. So you just simply, we all know how to do it. You just research the guy, uh, go, uh, hit him up on, type his name in on YouTube, see can you find as many fights as you can. Um, you know what I'm saying, so some, some of these guys is from these countries, third world countries or whatnot. 
they, they probably don't have no good footage on them. So you might find some sketchy footage or whatever, but whatever you can gather up, hey, just analyze it. If you, that's how I do. When I get deep into it, I just try to uh, check out some stuff, see what's going on with the fighter, um, see how he fight, get a basic, you know, um, skill level of the fighter, a basic knowledge of how he fight. Is it a come forward fighter? Do he like to use his legs? You know what I'm saying? Do, do he pot shot a lot? You know what I'm saying? Whatever he do, what's his favorite punch? Um, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. That way I can get a proper assessment and breakdown of a fighter. Because I always want to be prepared, especially if I like a fighter. You know what I'm saying? I like Shakur Stevenson, so I like to know who he fighting, who, who in his division. Uh, if I don't know about the guy, I go research him. And if I didn't know him before, I guarantee you after I finish doing my research, I know him now. So um, that pretty much sums up what I do to find out. And it's real simple. It's nothing crazy, you know what I'm saying? It's all at the, um, your fingertips. Everybody got social media. Um, you can always look up these fighters. It's very easy. So like what I like to do on my channel, I want to educate some shit too. So if you guys, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know, I want to help you out. It's, I'm not better than nobody, but it's just little simple stuff that you can find out about the fighters. Um, and that Facebook, that, that gym right there is real helpful because I find a lot of fights on there that I wouldn't normally, you know, recognize before. You know, I wouldn't normally be able to find them. And, you know, most, most of these uh, smaller promoters, they're not having fights on ESPN, The Zone, um, Fox, stuff like that. You got to find them. And it's important to know some of these fighters because when they step up in competition and you see them like, like this guy about to fight Shakur, at least you have a visual on him. Like, okay, I remember him. You might not be following his career like, you know what I'm saying, like all close like that, but at least you have an idea. And then you're like, okay, I've seen this guy before. That's why I like to watch all the fights on the fight card if I can. Um, you know what I'm saying? I go check out, you know, you know, as soon as the card come on, I watch everything. Cause I, you never know. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just me. That's just my little tutorial, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys uh, like, comment, or subscribe. Um, hit the bell icon if you have it. You know what I'm saying? Keep checking me out. Keep supporting me. Um, look out for my live streams. I'll be dropping periodically. And if y'all got any requests or whatever, just let me know. I would love to hear y'all feedback, man. And um, once again, thank you guys, man. I'm out.